Hey guys, it's Lexi here. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I am sharing a second half melting basket for the month of June. As you can tell based on the title, the theme for this melting basket is camping. I do also have a few things that are Father's Day inspired mixed in, but overall Father's Day and camping kind of go hand in hand for me. Growing up, my parents took us camping all the time, my sister and I, and so Father's Day and all of the wax themed around that, as well as the camping themed wax melts kind of go hand in hand. So before I jump right into it, I do also have some that are a little less camping and a little bit more festival inspired, but I don't have like a broad spectrum to do like an entire festival themed melting basket, so I figured I would throw it into here. So to kickstart the festival themed, I of course have the biggest festival that um, was actually pretty close to my hometown here, and this is Woodstock. So this is from Midnight Daydream Wax Company, and the scent notes on Woodstock are vetiver, driftwood, jasmine, patchouli, sandalwood, ylang ylang, violet, and tonka. And this one smells exactly like you would imagine, very earthy, very um, kind of incense-y, kind of like that. It's really great. And to pair with that, I have another festival back here. And this festival is very popular now. This is Coachella, and this is from Teddy Bees. And the scent notes on Coachella are lavender, cedarwood, tonka, sandalwood, tropical fruit, jasmine, coconut milk, sea salt, sea moss, and green vetiver. As you can tell, based on both of these notes, these are kind of similar in the sense of like, they give you that very earthy, kind of um, outdoorsy, kind of hippie vibe, which I absolutely have been loving lately, so I'm super excited to melt both of these. To go along with these festival vibes here, I have Sensational's Crystal Healing. This scent is really interesting. It kind of is a little bit fresh, um, a little bit heady. It's kind of like, almost like on the border of like perfumey masculine. It's definitely in that kind of general area. It's really fantastic though, and the name just fit the theme perfectly. I also have two scents here, and these were actually um, paired together. These were, I bought these two together at the same time. And sometimes at festivals, you see a lot, <laughs> you can see a lot of these. So this one here is Pretty Fly for a Fun Guy, which is sweet strawberry and hint of cotton candy from Birdie Making Scents. And another Birdie's Making Scents here is in the scent Gnome Worries Be Happy which is watermelon candy and vanilla smoothie. I absolutely love these wax melts and I have um, pretty much been putting off melting any of my birdies making sense just because I don't wanna melt them. They're so darn cute, but you know what? This is the month to do it and this is the perfect theme to do it for. So moving along into my purely camping themed basket here, I do have another birdies making sense and this is in the scent Orange Blossom and Clean Cotton and cotton, I don't know why I said it that way, cotton. <laughs> um, this is a really funny story, honestly. This shape here is a little orange mouse, and it's not so much the, the theme of um, the name or the scent notes that make me think of camping as much as it is this little mouse shape. So back when Tom and I first made our custom like camper van that we built, we had a little bit of a mice, a mice problem when we were camping up in the Adirondacks. And so now every time I go camping, I kind of worry about <laughs> mice, even though all of the holes in our van are now secured and closed, I still kind of think about mice. So I had to melt this one or have to put this one in my melting basket because it is just too funny. It makes me laugh every time I see it. I also have the scent here from Zape, and this is in Mountain Garden, and of course the mountains. Think about camping. As well as another Zape in Great Outdoors. I have another Zape here, and this is in the scent Toasted, which scent notes on Toasted are fire roasted marshmallows and autumn leaves and candied apples. So this is a fall release from last year, but I really would like to work on using most of this, if not, if not all of this up, um, and I thought this would be perfect for my camping theme. Another Zape here, which is from the summer release. This is in Under the Stars, which notes are fresh rain, bergamot, lemon, and neroli. A few things from Brita's over here. I have two little tombstones, and these are in the scent notes. Black sugar, crackling birch, sugar cookie dough, and sugar, sugar cookie and fire roasted marshmallows. 
And to my nose, this really just reminds me of being around the campfire. I have two more tombstones here from Britta's. This is in the scent Rowena, and this is Nag Champa, Amber, Sandalwood, Pink Sugar, and Toasted Marshmallows. Continuing on that kind of toasted marshmallow theme, I have Scentsy's Apple S'mores, and this is such a, such a good scent. Like, I really love the scent, and I have so many bars that I need to get through. This one also, if you guys can tell, is getting so super, super juicy. So I need to just use this one up. I have two more Scentsy bars that really remind me of camping. This one here is in Tangerine Creamsicle and it smells exactly like those little creamsicles that you get from the ice cream trucks, which always go around the camping loops when I was growing up and I would always get the orange creamsicles. So definitely a scent memory here, skinny dipping. And this is also from Scentsy. This is like a melony type of scent, not melony like the name, but like a melon type of scent. And this one, I was like, you know what? As an adult, you can do a little skinny dipping if you want when you're camping. So that was perfect. This is Teddy Bee's Bunny Trail. The scent notes are cedarwood, moss, pine cones, orchid, jasmine, and vanilla sugar crystals. And this is just a very nice outdoorsy type of scent. And I thought, um, I didn't get to finish this up in the month of April, so might as well throw it back in this basket. It definitely smells like camping to me. Three things down here that don't entirely look like they would fit this theme, but in my mind, they absolutely do. So this first one here is White Cow, and this is from Salt Mountain Melt. Vanilla Shake, Vanilla Wafers, and Maraschino Cherries. And I always go get ice cream with my family or I always would go get ice cream growing up when we were camping. So this reminds me of that. And this also kind of reminds me of the place where we would always go get ice creams. This is Dirty Dirt Ball. This is pretty much just Dr. Pepper and vanilla and cherry. It's really great. And this one is from Salt Mountain Melts as well. And finally, another Salt Mountain Melts, which is kind of like a soda shop, ice cream shop inspired wax melt that is bringing nostalgia back. This here is black cow, and this is root beer and creamy vanilla and cherry. So these three definitely remind me of getting ice cream with my family when we were camping. I have L3 Waxy Wonder S'mores. I have that Smell Good Shop Wake Up and Be Awesome. And this one is sweet grapefruit and fresh oranges. And I thought every time I wake up when I'm camping, I always just feel extra good about the day. So this one was perfect. This first Rose Girl scent that I have here is in Rocky Mountain Adventure, and this is Pine, Bonfire, Bliss, and Vanilla Lace. Another one that's kind of self-explanatory for this theme is Campfire, Marshmallows, Saltwater, Taffy, and Cup of Cake from Rose Girls. And then another one from Rose Girls, which I'm really excited to get melting, is Crackling Birch Fluff Puffs. And this is scent notes of crackling birch, monster cookie, and marshmallow smoothie. I have a few scent shots as well as clamshells. So this first one here reminds me of camping in our van with Tom on the Pacific Coast Highway. This is Sensational's Pacific Coast Highway. I have another Sensational's in Adventure Seeker, and this is Sandalwood and Vanilla. I have a Better Homes in Garden in the perfect name for this themed melting basket. This is Weekend Camping Trip. I have this gorgeous label. I'm like obsessed with this. This is Sunlit Meadow Trail. Another kind of sunlit scent here is Golden Sunlit Wood. And then to wrap up the Walmart wax, I have Swinging Hammock Breeze. I have a K-Scented Melt in Midnight Waters. I have something that you need to do once you get home from camping, and this is Zesty Clean, which is a fresh and clean from the shower aroma. This one here is another Midnight Daydream Wax Company in Smoked Vetiver and Pine, and this is Beach, beach Wood, Vetiver, Pipe Smoke, Birch Wood, and Pine. And then finally, another Midnight Daydream Wax Company in Laundry in the Forest, and this is Redwood and Downy Blue Ultra Type. I also have this small box here that is pretty much all inspired for Father's Day that is at the end of this month. So first things first, I will let you guys know my dad and I have like really goofy nicknames for each other, but I call my dad Monkey. So you will see some monkey and banana themed wax in here. And if that seems weird, that is why. Um, so first things first, let me share with you those things. So I of course have Monkey Bread from K Scented Melts. And another thing that's nice about this scent is when I was younger, my mother's parents, my grandma, 
she would always make monkey bread when we would go camping. It kind of became like a tradition. So this fits my father as well as it fits my grandmother. So it kind of works for this melting basket in general. Another case scented melt I have is in bananas flambe. And of course, monkeys and bananas. I have another banana themed in butterscotch banana boat. This is banana pudding, pie, s'mores, and bourbon butterscotch. I have banana wafers. This is banana cream pie and vanilla wafers. This one here is from the Melted Moose, and this is in Banana Scotcheroos, which is rich banana pudding, creamy caramel, and sugar cookies. And another one for Melted Moose is in Steel Sugar Type. This one is kind of in here as a little bit of a joke. So this is Teddy Bee's Crack of Dawn, which is a layered blend of Witches Be Crazy and Coffee Bean a la mode. When we would go camping, my father would always wake us all up at the crack of dawn and we would have to leave to like pack up and go home as soon as we possibly could. I don't know why he still does it to this day. We can't just like stay a little bit later, but this one kind of was thrown in here as a little bit of a joke, but definitely reminds me of my father. Another banana themed one or monkey kind of banana themed one is Rose Girl's Banana French Toast Bear Claws. This one's getting old, so I hope I can finish that one up. Um, I have two things here from the Rainbow Melts Coffee Sampler. This one, of course, is perfect for Father's Day. This is a hug from dad, which is espresso, caramel, tobacco, and a uh, sweet and creamy. I also have cowboy coffee, and this is black coffee and campfire marshmallows. And this one just kind of reminds me of my dad. He's a bit of a cowboy. We have cows. He's, um, we live on a farm, so I guess that kind of reminds me of my dad. Another one that kind of goes into that same lane here is Rodeo. This is leather, amber, wood, and patchouli and vanilla. I have Lumberjack, and this one is fresh cologne, sweet apple, vanilla musk, and a hint of caramel. My dad is a tree cutter, Lumberjack kind of vibe, whatever you want to say. And then finally, this one reminds me of my father. This is Daredevil, which is from L3 Waxy Wonders, and the scent notes raspberry soda and blue raspberry jello. My father is absolutely a daredevil. And then finally, to wrap up this camping Father's Day themed melting basket, I have two that don't fit the theme really um, at all. However, I am going to be melting these during one special day this month. It is my Pug Dwight's heavenly birthday, so I will be melting the pharmacist daughter's heavenly, and this is Neroli, Bergamot, Lemon, Jasmine, Ivy, and Vanilla Bean Noel as well as I will be melting Serene, and this is Passion Fruit, Nectarine, and Zen. So, melting those just to get a little closer to heaven to be with him for his birthday. And that is it, you guys. That is my camping Father's Day um, festival kind of themed melting basket. I am super excited to get melting these. My last melting basket, which was all of my wedding themed melts, it has gone like so well. I've been so obsessed with that melting basket but I'm also like totally ready to get into a different melting basket and I cannot wait to switch all of my melts out. I hope you guys have been having a fantastic June so far. If you guys are doing new melting baskets or if you guys are continuing on with your old melting baskets, I would love to hear that. Um, sound off in the comments below. I hope you guys are all doing well, taking care and staying safe. Bye guys.